today. Thank you. Um, will you will you then send me my receipt? Yeah, or um, or do you want just a confirmation number over the phone? Um, I can do either one. Uh, just send me a a receipt. That's fine. You you got it. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Should have gone back to school. All these bills just keep piling up. That was just one bill. Now I'm old. I'm, I'm, old. I'm too old. There's nothing I can do. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Gotta keep moving. I have to meet. Oh, my glasses aren't even working. Should have made better decisions and gone to school. Why didn't I? It's Betty calling. Oh, I have an appointment with her today. Hello. Hello, Ethel. Hi, Betty. Are you still okay for the cafe date? Uh, I suppose I was just trying to make some bills. Okay, see you there. All right, see you in a few. Bye bye. No, oh, gotta go to the cafe. Thank you, darling. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> oh. Oh. May I please have a, a spoon? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, this is good coffee. So what are you doing this summer, Ethel? <clears throat> well, when you called today, I was paying some bills. And I just, I've been behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. And my, the bills keep piling up and... I wish I would have gone to college when I was a lot younger. Now I'm old. Oh, Ethel, such a dreamer. You're hitting your golden years. You need to sit back and relax, spend time with family. Maybe go out with your husband on vacation, you know? I know, Betty. I don't know. Oh, well, you look at the time. It's oh. almost eight. I have a dentist appointment. Oh. I know, Ethel. Bye, Betty. Maybe Betty's right. Maybe I'm well advanced in age. Excuse me, Ethel? Oh, Pastor Rich! Hey, mind hey. if I have a seat? No, go right ahead! I Hi! Don't, how are you? I'm okay. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Betty. Oh, yes. And I don't make a habit of eavesdropping, mm -hmm. but it did catch my attention. And I want you to know that I think if you want to pursue going to college and getting your degree, you should do it. Really? Yeah. Oh. You know, a wise woman once said, mm -hmm. age is no barrier. Really? Do you know who that was? I don't, Pastor. There's a woman by the name of Donzella Washington. Oh? At 80 years old, she graduated from Alabama A&M. At 80? And got her degree graduated at the top of her class with a 4.0. Pastor, I'm only in my 60s. That's right. And just like her, you could do that too. If you want to do it, you should go for it. Okay, thank you, Pastor Rich. Bless you. You're God welcome. bless you. Have a great day. You too. I think I'm going to go to school. 
for business. Excuse me, Miss Ed. Oh, yes, young man. There are grants for people who want to go back to school. You should look into that. Oh, really? Thank you, young man. No problem. Oh, goodness, I will. Here you are, Miss Betty. I'm sorry, we don't have crumpets. You don't have crumpets? Uh, what do you mean? No. Like they're not ready, or you don't we serve don't have them. any. This place is the talk of the town. What do you mean you don't have crumpets? Um, sorry, we're out. I need to see the manager. Um, she's busy right now. She's busy with what? Um, she has a customer with a lodger. I need to see the manager now. Okay. Okay. Oh, this place is a wreck. Does someone ask for the manager? Oh my land! Ethel! Betty? So you're the manager here? Well, actually, I own this place. What? Yeah, so after our conversation, oh. Pastor Ridge encouraged me and told me about a woman named Donzella Washington. Mm -hmm. She was 80 when she got 80? her degree. Yes. So I felt inspired. I got my degree in business. Oh my goodness. Yes. Ethel, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank and I'm you. I'm so sorry for saying what I said. I didn't mean any harm by it, Ethel. I know you didn't mean any harm but what you said I because. Guess I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, darling. We all have different ideas of our dreams. And for you, it's to be more quiet, enjoy your, your family, your mm -hmm. husband, your children, and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's the same. But I also wanted to get my degree in business mm -hmm. so my life can be just a little bit better mm -hmm. and I don't have to struggle with bills. Yeah. I know you didn't mean any harm. Well, actually this place is doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe we can incorporate some crumpets? That would be great. Awesome. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just keep in mind that no matter what season you're at in life, it's not too late to pursue your dreams. Just like Ethel, who was given advice by Betty to just calm down, don't pursue your dreams, but inside Ethel wanted to, and she did. She was encouraged to go ahead and do it. And even if you're not older, if you, even if you're younger and you just feel like it's not worth pursuing it, you should rethink that because at any age, if you want to pursue your dreams, you can and you can achieve great things. So go for it. Look at the time. I must go. Thank you oh, so much. Okay. I didn't even order my food. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Cut! I guess. This is good coffee. So, what are you doing this summer, Betty? Or... Oh. <laughs> Cut! Oh, well, you look at the time. It's almost eight. I have a dentist appointment. Oh! Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <That's awesome. laughs>